G'day and welcome to the start of a Europe Universalis 4 campaign. So I've just got the uh, Muggles update with the Dharma DLC. Um, came out early this morning, so this is literally the first look I've got at it, so that's why that's there. Uh, in this one, we're going to be playing as Austria because there's a couple of achievements that look like they could be interesting. And see if we can find it. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, then they'll be in the uh, description below. So, Austria. Not that one. Keep going down. Do, do, do. Oh, have I not got that one yet? Nah, it's Hungary. I own all of Austria. Okay. There's Burgundy, blah, blah, blah. The Ostenders, here we go. As Austria have the district and military administration investments in the West Bengal area. Well, that's written differently to what it said on the uh, dev diary, but sure, that's what we're going to go for. The Ostenders, plus there's a couple of other ones here that we should be able to get at the same time. I have no idea where they are on the list. Uh, but yeah, basically, we'll just blob eastwards as Austria in this one. So West Bengal, I'm imagining, is this area here somewhere. Um, so we'll try to knock out the Ottomans early, if possible. Uh, we'll probably go for a diplomatic sort of game, just try and dominate the HRE. Will really depend whether we get the uh, Burgundian inheritance and what happens between Castile and Aragon, etc. But should be good. So, let's jump in, and I've got to remember how to actually play this. It's been at least three months. Alright, I'm in mode, yes. And this will be... The Ostenders. Okay. So I've been playing a lot of uh, CK2 off-camera recently, and um, Hoi4 on-camera. So, trying to get used to the EU4 things again will take a while. Hang on. Let's stick with the EU4 music till it gets annoying. The Archduchy of Austria, 1444, etc, etc. Okay, so... Remember how to play. Denmark, Ottomans, and Poland hate us. Denmark... Yeah, I don't know. Definitely the Ottomans. So let's go through opening all this junk up. Wish I had an open all button. Um, what are we doing? Rivaling. Right, so I'm down the wrong place to start with. Now I've got to remember all of the shortcuts. Used to the CK2 ones. So this one it's Q, not W. Okay. So, rivalries. First up, Ottomanch. Secondly, what are we doing? Poland. And thirdly, I mean Savoy or somebody could be fun. Where does the HRE actually finish at the start. Alright, Savoy, Milan, not Venice. As the um, CK2 one I've been practicing at the moment is Venice, so it's going to be weird not being Venice. Uh, Papal State, no. Savoy, probably not. Bohemia, don't you know what? We'll just go Denmark. we we'll just keep it simple. People that hate us. Disputed Succession. Right, so how old is our dude? Four. We are 29, but he does die early quite often. Tuas, Gaja, could go for Unholt. Milan. Milan could be worth a try. I mean, they are kind of powerful in the Italian region. You know what? Let's get an alliance with Milan. And what else are we looking for? The Saxons. Palatines and Brandenburg or Bohemia. Well, Bohemia usually ends up voting for himself. So if we take a look up to Brandenburg, get a royal marriage with them. And who we say? Palatinate. You can often get lucky with at some point. And where is my list gone? There we go. All right, so jump up to speed three till I remember how things work. Ulrika is our new empress. Alliance from Hungary, yes. Um, can't remember when that event thing comes. I think it's on the Hungarian end. Three, two, one, zero. So, Palatinate, Alliance first. Hopefully they'll offer the marriage. Um, can't do that until later. All right, now I've got to remember which of these menus is the right one. Oh yes, the other thing. We've got cash, so Diplomatic power would be good. Diplomatic reputation, I mean. 
two for, per month, not really worth it. Spinal construction, trade efficiency, neither of them are worth it. Um, let's have a look. Oh, God, unrest. That's all we can get there. Guess we'd want a military. Morale of armies, definitely go with him. And I guess we'll grab Spino at construction. And we've still got two ducats. Um, but we do still have to beef up the army a little. So let's go stand in Crane. F1. Right. And then the numbers. So I remember it. Oh, I have no idea what our missions are as Austria either. At least five electors backing us and controlled by him now. Okay. Build to the force limit was what we want to do first. Trustworthy allies. That'll happen naturally. High income eventually. Decline of Hungary. Hungary's relative decline in relation to the Duchy of Austria is cause of concern. Let's tighten our relationship with Hungary to assure its lands do not fall into hostile hands. Okay. Have more development than Hungary. Alright, that should be easy enough. Turn by dangerous enemies and it's having to protect the Hungarian people directly, unifying their lands on wooden rule. Okay, so that would be a nice little path there. So, building up to force limit is full stop now. Um, holy crap, we won't be able to afford that. Okay, so we'll just build up a little more. Come here. Um, we'll add five. We might have some money left over. And that was the other thing. Uh, Z. Three out of five. Hungary, Brandenburg, Milan, plus Palatinate. Before, then we can do one more. So one of these, who is old? Well, Hungary, I guess. Get that royal marriage. Okay. And then we're looking for Imerati or Offaly or Leinster, Razan, Navarra. Yeah, Navarra's too far away to worry about. I think we'll just go try and get Unholt. We'll just jump in with the Royal Marriage. And then we want to do the Planet. Overfaults. Do you have the Alliance? Get the Royal Marriage. Kingdom of Italy and the Empire, yes. Um, we're looking, yep, we're on 5 out of 5 now. So we don't want to spend any points. So... Milan, Planet, Unholt, Brandenburg. Well, we'll have to wait a bit. Let's just uh, send the dude down to the Pope to improve relations. Then the other diplomat can bounce between them. Thank you, Brandenburg. And then Milan, it's the 12th. Visconti would become von Habsburg. Succession war between Ferrara and Hungary would be nice to be able to do something about that. Hostile attitude. Could try improving relations. Um, who was the one left that we didn't do? Unholt and Planet. Alright. Palatine Royal Marriage. And I've already forgotten who the other one was. Unholt. Ken. Got a dude. Alright, get the alliance there. Might as well. Succession war between Austria and Saxony could be hilarious. And Unholt, Milan, Hungary. I'll turn this off or I'll keep looking at it. We have a free advisor slot, but oh, we could technically afford it. Unrest reduction. No. What are we? Aggressive expansion impact reduction. Hmm. Archduke Friedrich. It's a good dude. These guys are coming in. You know, we could probably turn the army off for a while. And I should also probably go sort these guys out. We've got one trade ship. Well, we'll group them together. And we will send them off to protect trade in Venice. But tell them to... Can't remember where anything is. Uh, Detach blockade. Ah, oh, cool. Don't remember that band there. All right, Venetian trade leagues, as usual. Um, repair, repair threshold. If they're slightly damaged, come home. And where is the thing for that one? 
Okay, uh, turn that off. Sienna has joined the trade league. Yep, fine. And I'm forgetting what is available here. Discover America, Sands of Trade, Large City, maybe. We will embrace the Renaissance. Holding three thrones might be doable. Present on two continents. We have to take a bit of Africa and humiliate a rival. All right, so we'll probably want to humiliate a rival early on. Poland, Denmark, Ottomans. Yeah, probably not. Rather just expand. Alright, uh, group them. Get round numbers. Next, 22. 51. Yeah, not going to be able to afford that. 22, we can get it at 44. would cost another 5. Never be able to afford it. And that would be the problem with Tyrol. Um, let's go and mothball the forts at least. Could get another two boats. Can't really do much trading, but sure, when we're at peace. If we don't have many sailors. We've got negative sailors. Alright, and forgot about the diplomat. Oop. Marriage alliance across the board. So, the other diplomat should think about Venice. Alright, let's go and start building up that spy network. Mm -hmm. uh, don't have the spy limit there. It's, no, I think we're just... Oh, I can't even go to... Yeah. Do hate that their fleet would keep us off their capital, but... Yeah, if we're going to try and keep the Italians in, then we have to do the Pope, and we have to do Venice. Hmm. I'll try and vassalize the Pope. What size do they? 104. Okay, maybe not. Ooh. Of course, they've made changes to the estate system. So, let's take a look. Uh, grant the Monopoly Charters. That's about all we can do. Alright, clergy, six port, send an emissary. National unrest, theologian. Well, half price, skill two, it's always good. Okay. Um, it's only 100, so do you have to get it up to 100 now to get that? Let's have a look. What's this bring up? 10 influence. Put it on 82, because I've changed this from 80 to 100. Now it's 150. Okay. This must be maybe 200 if you get it over 100. Uh, we'll take the admin power, though. We shall call it it. Means 20 would put them on 110. So let's just demand 150 military power. And what are we going to do with the burgers? Should we give them a bit more land? I think probably should. Um, the estates are hidden somewhere. Trade goods, except cultures, institutions, estates. Oh, Jesus. All right. Um, give them Graz. It's worth 16. That's worth 19. Promote settlement growth. Ah, oh, yes. It's the other thing you can do with the colonists now. Hmm. Um, if we were to give this to the burgers, influence goes up by 11.7. Good enough. Reduce our money a little. <clears throat> Alright, 38. That's still junk. Can't do anything else. Must be over 40. Could wait for some event, but that's fine. We just take that now. Alright, that music is annoying me already. <clears throat> Try and turn this up just a tiny bit. Okay. <clears throat> Fleet floating about, unless they don't go out near the Ottomans. 
and we are what are we doing we're waiting for this to come up siege ability against venice aggressive expansion incurred with venice ah oh, that was noise there was it okay they claim Gertz. i don't think they'd be stupid enough to actually attack us tunis is preparing to attack jared okay the buffoons we should probably go around and check these guys Scania, Succession War, still Milan, Von Habsburg, and we've got Von Habsburg on the Hungarian Regency. Those are the only three. And then Palatinat, Brandenburg. Hohenzollern's are pretty strong. 32 and 31, it's a good little age difference. And Palatinat. 22 and 20. Could get lucky and have them both die close together. <clears throat> Lithuania wants Condottieri. Alright, let's go speed 4. I mean, yeah, I'm used to playing CK2 and not caring about time passing because there's hundreds of years in it, so you have to remember we have to do things a little faster in EU4. Court painter available. Um, got the ducats. Stage and stability. Should we buy stability up first? I've moved. Oh, yeah, that's the other thing. The policy should have a look at this in a sec. Rain in Northern Italy. So they haven't changed this. Emilia Romagna. Mainland parts of the Venetia area. And Central Italy, except for Abruzzi. Yep. Stability is one we're looking for, though. So 100 for the boost. I think it is definitely worth it. We'll hire this dude. A little more prestige. Uh, does that make a difference with Milan? No, we've House von Habsburg. Yep. And we're on 20 with Venice. So, Fabricate Claim. Now, Venice area doesn't include Istria, I don't think. Um, probably want to grab Treviso first. So, let's go with that. And we will try and do this early, I think. So, if we were to declare he is allied with the Knights, we wouldn't be able to call... No, we could call Hungary. Then we could give Hungary Dalmatia. And that wouldn't be terrible. What's the other one they have? They have Crete and Negroponte. Alright, well, yeah, we'll definitely bring uh, Hungary in. <clears throat> There's just Nexus, Corfu, Siena. Siena's ruler is cruel, so he doesn't want to join in. Um, yeah, I think we definitely need to do this early before they build up their... Uh, what do you call it? Trade... thing. Can't even think what the thing's called. Trade League, there we go. So, take Treviso. Confirm that. Of course, our fleet immediately gets destroyed. Whoops. And run around to Treviso. It was turned on, so we didn't mess that up. Uncontested claims that will expire. Yes, it's not uncontested. Thank you. Countries at war. Let's block it. All right. So we need to uh, pull these guys out as soon as we can, which will be the 24th of May. We've been dead long before then. Nice bonded. Yes. No, I have one other ship coming out, so we're going to lose everything. Was it 24th? Alright. Get over to Gertz. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> oh well. Save us a bit of money on the fleet. Doo -doo 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 -doo. And what is uh, supply limits a little low? Could go. We can chase them down first. I think we'll wait for them to maybe go up to Tyrol. Which means we will... Oh, we can't do it now because he's halfway over. Um, we'll peel off two guys. Send them back to Friuli. Oh yes, forgot about them. And the thing that I would love if they put in CK2 is seeing how much you're actually up against. So we outnumber them fantastically. Uh, of course we can't get the blockades done. Siege isn't too bad, and he can go anywhere he wants because we're the Emperor. 
everybody is ours. So, we obviously can't get there. I was thinking we should probably go and join the Hungarians, though. They want to come our way. Allow our friendlies to attach. Let's see if they want to stick to us. They do not. Prestige for admin and ducats. Well, we need prestige, so yes. Um, now, to remember, how do we attach to him? Ah, he's already moved too far. Fair enough. But we'll go around to Verona. Assume that's where he's going. So, yep. Oh. He's going back the other way. Okay, then. Go and take these. Watch out for that army. And who's got thing? Who's going to vote for us? Only two people. I do need to get the planets sorted out. So, while the Dimlet's not doing much else, we'd win at the moment anyway, but uh, yeah, Hess for some reason always get the early boost. Alright, taken Verona. Uh, let's go help with Dalmatia. Alright, we've got Brescia. Doing a decent chunk of the work here. Vienna is under attack ish. So we want to stick to him because they outnumber him too well. At least he's walking all the way back around again. We've suffered casualties. Ports blockaded. But money is absolutely fine. Um, we did get that half price level 2 and then didn't hire him. Here, national unrest. Yep, yeah, definitely. Same price as everyone else. And Advancement of Religion Act. Institution spread reduction. Nope. And let's go take a look at the new policy thing. Nothing is available. Fair enough. I think it was, was it the first one of each is free, but still unlock them the usual way, I guess. Uh, five electors need to back us so that we can do a thing on Bohemia. So that'll be three. Cologne, if we had an alliance, would be fine. Hates Trier, so that would be a problem. Mites hate the planet, so yeah, we're probably gonna have to wait for somebody to dissolve or something. Could be a longer term problem. And he is attacking us with 2,000 men in the woods. Do we want to grab another guy? Probably not. Screw it. head back. Just so there's two on two. Or not. 3rd of January. When do we get out? 5th of January. Well, we have to get back there now. And we're attacking Leica. Alright, easy enough. Him copping the minus three. And we'll group these guys up when they get there. And now we can attach to them. And we'll tell him to attach as well, I guess. He went down to do Drazo. Which he doesn't want. So yeah, we definitely want to give him Dalmatia. Be one less fort for us to deal with on them. And this is Hills, so this is going to be bad. We've got no leader there. He has a 1-1. One, one. Hmm. Probably should have at least gotten one guy. We have 7.5. It would be between 2 and 7 pips. Oh, too late now. Um, mm -hmm. They're doing it so poorly there as well. Oh, he's in in three days, so we have to see how much of a hit we're going to take. And we're getting absolutely wrecked. Alright. Uh, can't get out that way. Seems improbable. 22nd. Alright, well, they're going to break anyway. We've still got... No, we can't control it. Just get out of there. Give them them back. That's fine. At least he's taken over Dalmatia. We're just spreading the Bohemia is preparing to attack Saxony in a war of aggression. There isn't much time if we wish to interfere. Yo, Bohemia. Peter de Est. Probably should have gone for marriage with them to get our dynasty on there. Oh, uh, how's Milan looking? Ah, Visconti. They always screw you out of it. 
he would accept a call to arms. Would not be a terrible idea either. Screw it. Bring him in. Uh, Planet obviously wouldn't come in. Still Wittelsbachs, Hohenzollerns, Unholt still has no legal heir. Succession war between us and Saxony would be hilarious while he's getting wrecked by Bohemia as well. And how many Milanese troops are there? Eight and three. He'll get ruined by them. This will slow him down a little. Alright, done with the Pope. Recall him. Uh, we wanted to try to get Cologne on side. Can't do Saxony. Really needs to do Trier. So I think we'll head off to Cologne, improve relations with them. Might be able to get that mission done. Government reform? Ah, oh, that was the other new one. Have been keeping up with the things, we just forgot all the new stuff they added. So, power structure, feudal nobility. We are an autocracy for unjustified demands down. No, that was the old. Alright, so we're feudal nobility. Nobility. Nobility influence plus five, income of vassals up. Makes sense. Autocracy was the other one. Adds ten corruption when we're doing that. Uh, how do you unlock the next tier? Next reform is in ten years' time. Gain that much each month due to an average local autonomy. Okay. Lower the local autonomy is the faster you will gain reform points. Currently, you can keep at most 1450 saved. That's quite a lot. Each tier of reforms will increase the cost by 50. Okay, so they're having slower and slower. And the next one we want would be what? National manpower modifier up. I guess. Tax modifier and ability influence down. It might actually want to curtail the noble privileges. I don't know. We'll look at that in 10 or so years' time. Bohemia has declared war on Saxony. Well, who saw that one coming? And how are we looking back here? Two and a half thousand. You know, we could probably bring them down this way. Let's cut them off a little. Um, they should be safe. They're not so much. Don't like that he's bringing these guys in as well. What's that? Uh, eight? No, what we had? 20. 31 stack. He would come and actually attach to us. Oh, Milan. What are you thinking? We won the Siege of Dalmatia. Good. Perfect. Alright, they can go do Treviso and we'll stand here to uh, reinforce it. Money is good. I didn't realise we were that bad on the military skills. Should we do a focus? We're on an admin focus. Probably want to stay there. Okay, we'll stick with that. Oh, and this was the one with uh, 20 supply limits, so it's actually good that we got the other two peeled off onto this. Supply limit 20 there. All right. Hey, Milan. You know what? Come around to Verona. Milan's going to be nearby. Right, going back there. Uh, don't try and attack them again. It's only farmlands. It's the Milanese problem is their capital is in farmlands. Verona is ours, yep. Uh, Brescia is hills. Yeah, that's fine. Because it's not a fort, so we'd rather be here to defend. Although supply limit's terrible. Hmm. Five percent attrition, maximum five. Yeah, no, chill in Verona. Oh, hello. Didn't see they took that on the way past. Um, we got seven six percent. What are we actually trying to get? Becomes the next question. Can't find out because we don't have a diplomat free. Improvements in naval technology. Inflation for diplomatic power. Yep. And technology. We are getting close-ish. They're doing that a lot faster than we were. He's got, yeah, one siege. Well, he's got a 4-4 in there as well. He is going to smash them. 